Uh, today I'm going to be opening up Dogfish Head's semi-new 61 minute IPA. Uh, now this is actually quite rare for the Bay Area because rarely do we get the 60 minute or if anything, never do we get the 60 minute. We always get the 90 minute though for some reason. But anyways, the 61 minute IPA, yes, you read that right and heard that right, uh, is their 60 minute IPA in which they dry hopped it and they added some Syrah grape must. To it. So that's a pretty unique thing. Dogfish Head is really known for their experimentation and this is sort of a marketing thing too, but it's really smart of them to do that as well. But enough of all that logistics, let me go ahead and open it up and I'll show you guys how it is. So let me go ahead and pour it in my favorite IPA glass and wow, what the heck. That is really crazy. I did not expect that at all. I mean, I read some stuff about this beer, but I didn't read, like, if they even mentioned that it's gonna be a, this kind of color. Weird! Anyways, <laughs> so this is the color, as you see. Let me check the aroma. Well, I'm definitely getting grape peel. But, uh, I'm kind of getting a semi-skunkiness like you'd get from an old beer. Let me see if they, uh, put when it was bottled. Okay, so it was bottled in February 26th of this year, 2013. So it is a bit old, but usually a good IPA stands for that long. 6.5%, uh, pretty much the same as the 60 minute IPA, I think, anyways. Uh, so I'm getting some hops, but I could tell it's died down a bit. Uh, but, you know, like I said, even in an older IPA, how, how long it's been? Like three months? That, that's, that's getting to the old level, but anyways, this is when we get it, so I'm pretty excited to share it with you guys, so let me go ahead and give it a try here. Come by. This is very, very drinkable. Um, it's more on the juicy side like you would have in a... This actually tastes like a watered-down grape juice, because it does have the grapes. You get some of that grape skin peel kind of thing, but it is grape must. Um, but uh, yeah, it's... The hops are very unnoticeable, maybe because it's three months old, but uh, even then, it's really not much. This is actually really, really strange because it doesn't really taste like an IPA. It says, the continually hopped India Pale Ale brewed with Syrah Grape Must. It says it right there. So yeah, I don't know, this is kind of strange. So I, I am getting the hops, the more I drink this, it's there, but it's not that noticeable. Maybe because it's not as fresh, so it kind of blends in with the rest of the fruit flavor that's in here. Uh, because the grapes are quite strong in this one, Young Skywalker. <laughs> um, yeah, the I am getting that floral hop, more floral. Uh, the pine's all gone. Uh, it's not a, a West Coast IPA, so you're not going to get that bold citrus, pine, grassy kind of thing. But yeah, it's, I mean, the floral character is there. In, in that way, it's actually nice. Like, if you're hoping for something that's not as IPA-y, uh, this might be great for you because you do have the grapes, you have the floral characters to it, and the juicy, dry finish to it. Um, but uh, an IPA, I'm going to give it a double rating, which I do every once in a while now. Uh, I'll give it a C plus slash B minus. Um, it is an enjoyable beer, so for some people you might be like, oh, it's more like a B or even B plus beer for me because I like this kind of stuff. But considering what the style is, it's an IPA. They double, uh, they dry hopped it, and they add some some great must. I don't know if, how much of it they they uh, added, but it's considering what the style is and that they dry hopped it. It's more of a C plus for me, slash B minus. So I'd be curious to try this fresh. I'm pretty sure it's uh, pretty different, I'm hoping. Uh, if not, they probably put it through Randall to compensate it. So anyways, it's a C plus slash B minus for me for the 61 minute IPA. I'm kind of disappointed in it. Uh, it's not bad tasting, but it's just not what it, what it marketed itself to be. So that's kind of, um, uh, it's bad form in that part. Um, in their part, actually. Uh, so anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next beer blog. Come by.